What is up, everyone? Thank you for joining us in another Overwatch Odyssey League matchup tonight. We have got VTG Orion going up against a, I'll say in air quotes, new loot boxers team. Uh, loot boxers what is up, everyone? Thank had you for to go through some changes tonight. here. Their VTG changes here Orion being uh, some new management, but the same roster, same love. Excited to see them play. Um, commentating with me tonight, we have got the one, the only, Yvonne. What's happening, Yvonne? Changes here. Pretty much the same. Happy to be back, being, of course. Uh, some new management, but the same roster. Well, I'm same glad to hear that. To I play. have to be um, honest here. Commentating with me tonight, we have Looks got like there's the something the going on. Yvonne, what's happening, um, Yvonne? Okay, the I think same. we're Happy fixing to be back, this. Of what I'm is going on with my I'm mic? Uh, Sounds fine to me. I apologize, everyone. Having some technical difficulties here. I believe it is fixed. What is going on with my mic? No, it is definitely not fixed. Okay, uh, we're going to continue to work on that. But in the meantime, we're going to go ahead and kick things off with a push game mode at Esperanza. Definitely not fixed. Okay, uh, we're gonna continue to work on that, but in the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and kick things off with a push game mode at Esperanza. Figured it out. Yay. <laughs> All right, well, everyone, in case you're wondering what goes on in the mind of Zorin, uh, so I was checking out the stream uh, for some chat and I had the uh, YouTube uh, going on live, and so I was getting the feedback, silly me. So, uh, so, so we're going to kick things off. Uh, we have got, like I said, Esperanza, push game mode. Uh, the loot boxers coming up against VTG Orion, like I had stated before. VTG Orion have been making a pretty good push, and they have been making some roster swaps. So hoping to see uh, some good gameplay from the roster here. Uh, and then we have got loot boxers, a new team but a similar roster to what you may have seen on J Dynasty. So hoping to definitely see some good play from them. You know, um, I think, so, this is technically, quote unquote, my first commentating with the, the J Dynasty is now Loot Boxers rebranding. This is my first time, I think, commentating over over one of their games. So I'm, I'm very excited to see it. Uh, back when I was still playing, these guys were top seed undefeated at first so I, I it's kind of exciting that i got to like sit in the background uh not in the background but i get to like spectate over directly and i i honestly can't wait to see how these guys do the rebranding is gonna be a little bit weird for me i'm gonna admit <laughs> i yep. may or may not call them jade once or twice on accident we'll, we'll have to make sure that we make that adjustment accordingly uh but in the meantime the action stays the same see also getting the first pick here Another pick uh, coming from the Manbo, able to get a pick there on Squidstorm. Miles me taking down, or sorry, Manbo taking down uh, Oncilla and Squidstorm going down as well. Photon able to get a pick there on Oso. And it looks like Arrow and Dom are going to be able to get out. Miles me taking the high ground here. Does get hit by the trap that was hanging out the, up there. Maybe meant for someone trying to flank Dom there, uh, but still able to momentarily pause Miles Me's movement here. You see Arrow doing his movement up top, trying to get the pylon down. Does take quite a bit of damage. Squidstorm able to finish off the pylon here. And Dom able to get Manbo down. But looking very low. You know, from both these teams, I have to say, we normally see on push maps, we see um, poke and rush based team comps uh, more so than anything. But I like the, the fact that both tanks, we're seeing Arisa and we're seeing Rokok. I really like and this. And a huge alt coming from Photon and Zeus, able to get three. And here's four on Oso. Huge flip, Squid doing his best to fight here, but does go down. VTG is going to come away with it. Didn't mean to interrupt you, but what a combo coming from Photon Dragon and Zeus there. 
was far more exciting than I, what I was saying, so I'm, <laughs> I'm completely okay with it. Uh, you know, uh, VTGRI just coming out the gate just just full throttle this, this evening, so I, I'm excited to see it. Now, we did see some things in that last matchup between Kaiju Core. Um, sorry, I'm just watching all these alts come out. Squid now using Blade here does get two. Squid able to get four in that team fight there. You see Dom is going to be switching off of Junkrat, switching to Soldier. This could be a much needed change for loot boxers here. And Manbo now switching off of Hanzo onto Ash here. Also with a great hook, able to get finished off there by Arrow. Able to get Photon, able to get Miles me. Alright, loot boxers are not... <laughs> they are not phased. So no. what, I was, what I was trying to say earlier between that matchup uh, with Kaiju Core uh, and Loggers there, Loggers had a very good push toward the beginning of the map, able to get very good progress. But ultimately, Kaiju Core is able to bring it back. We could be seeing a very similar situation here in this matchup. And an early pick there on Squid. Another ult coming from Photon Dragon. A lot of damage. Dom holding that high ground does take, again, a lot of damage going down pretty low. Able to use uh, the assistance of the supports there from loot boxers. Oh wait, I think I think we had a DC. Oh, looks like Squid did leave. We are gonna go ahead and pause the match for a moment here. Alright, looks like Squid is back. Um not sure exactly the issue here, but glad to have him back and they are going to be down. Uh, squid at least in this upcoming fight, so they're gonna have to make that adjustment here. A little unfortunate to lose your entire uh, ultimate pool, but luckily for Genji, to, uh, Genji has a, a knack for building up ultimate rather quickly. But, um, a little... It's a good pick from us on a manbo there. And very dangerous place to ult, hoping to maybe get loot boxers who are charging in there. You know, this goes back to the classic push sentiment that, that we're always saying. For every team fight that you, you lose, you gotta win two bag. Um, I'm really liking to see um, that VTG Orion is going Either way, they're switching up characters, they're trying to make sure they can make those plays to change to ensure that they've got that that upper hand to win that extra team fight and get back onto the offensive push, rather than just preventing one. It looks like both visors were used. Dom able to get the better of Manbo there, able to get Zeus and able to get Sync down. It looks like Squid is going to be running some cleanup with the assistance of Arrow. Lot of damage, but also with that heal ability, is able to survive. BTG is going to have to make a push here against loot boxers. 
at the risk of potentially losing the map. Looks like the rush is going to be coming out. Blade is coming out as well. Another pick coming. Very solid first take on, on this map. Just kept the momentum going. And Squid from Loot Box is just going to do a quick reset here uh, in order to maybe ensure that there isn't any more lag or anything coming from his end there. Uh, but overall, I mean, at least for at least for the time being, um, VTG Orion definitely had some very good pushes toward the start. Uh, it's just finishing off that. Whoa, a lot of things happen. I just bumped my desk and things are falling over. Uh, a lot of things happening on VTG Orion's side, just being able to finalize uh, some of those fights uh, and being able to do uh, what they need to do in order to come away with a map win here against Loot Boxers. Now, the other thing to take into consideration is Loot Boxers, although a new team, uh, definitely we've got some similar faces uh, from Jade Dynasty on that team. And if you can remember from those matchups, they had a very, very strong lineup. So VTG Orion, much like the loggers against Kaiju Core, are going to have to give 110% of what they've got in order to really give this a competitive and fighting chance for themselves. I I, I concur though. I must admit, I, I've seen some other VTG Orion plays. I I think they have I think they they got they got that in them to to definitely show I mean we saw their their opening push was very dominant, very full throttle. I think they're just as you said, they're just going to have to get that 100% all night. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And I I can see, I mean, much like we saw in this last matchup, and I feel almost bad for having or for comparing the two, but, I mean, that was a pretty recent matchup, so very easily, I guess, in the back of my mind there. But seeing some really good things from Loggers against that matchup. Now, Loggers and VTG Orion are different teams, and Loot Boxers and Kaiju Core are also very different teams. So to try and make those uh, comparisons can be uh, difficult at times. But also, you know, seeing some similarities into the strengths and weaknesses of those teams, I think VTG Orion definitely has it in them to possibly come away with uh, a couple map wins. But they're definitely, like you said, going to have to put it in the full throttle and do what they need to do. Yeah, so... Um... You know, I just they're just probably just gonna have to play more into their their strengths rather than, um, you know, I, I it's very it's very difficult for a game like Overwatch at times because you're just like all right the map and then you have to deal with like the comp that's best for said map but also you have player preferences to do this so it's always a little bit messy so it's hard to see this on paper. Sure. Yeah, and. I mean, looking at paper, uh, Oso uh, being toward the top of the uh, top 10, at least in terms of elims, um, or had been, I should say, uh, toward the top in terms of elims for tank players, and Squid also doing the same uh, for DPS, and then also having Arrow toward the top uh, in terms of all that. Uh, definitely some things to consider. Uh, three very valuable assets for this team. Uh, and being able to do what they need to do in order to come away with this map. And that first fight for push, I mean, definitely getting those early picks, uh, VTG Orion was able to really push forward and get some decent progress. So they just have to continue to be making those early picks or, or making those good picks uh, when someone overextends or anything. So, all right. Uh, looks like we are going to be ready uh, for the next map. It's going to be control game mode at Samoa.
Alright, so, control map. Yeah. Do you think, you personally, you would like to see Ryan do to, to switch it up a little bit to see if we can get a beat above loot boxers in this coming match? Very different play style, but... Sure. Uh, I uh, do know, so they did make a roster swap. Um, definitely, I think, can prove to be beneficial in terms of changing up maybe some compositions. Uh, looks like it was a swap on the support side of things. So being able to make that adjustment there and adapt to some different play styles, I think, can be pretty huge in the terms or in the grand scheme of things. Um, the other thing is, too, I think not submitting to J Dynasty's, I'll say, aggressiveness um, or pushing is going to be huge also. Um, definitely a lot of backline pushing from Arrow and a lot of uh, backline pressure coming from Squid as well. So being able to adapt to that and not allow that to control your team and your team's play style would be huge. I can't help but to agree. However, I must admit, the boxers seem to have a team that's kind of set up for that exact idea in mind. So they're just going to make it that little bit harder for Orion. But I, I think Orion's up for the challenge. Certainly. Now it looks like Squid is getting several picks here in this fight. It was one for one. Now with the assistance of arrows, it looks like it's going to be 4v2. Photon is up. It looks like there may have been a pick I missed or it happened recently. Um, but it ended up just being Photon there who was able to get out. Oso being the only one from Loot Boxer's side to get eliminated there. Like they are going to be pinging arrow, being very much aware of his presence there in the back line. You know, I solid play. You want to make sure you know where everyone is. We got two very flanking zippy characters. We got Tracer, we got Lucio. They're just hard to keep track of. And, and honestly, I Baptiste could also be a little bit of a handful at times. Those Squid Storm and Arrow seem to just be interested in cleaning house. Yeah. I I mean, Squid Storm and Arrow, definitely a very dangerous combination between the two. Um, being able to get that speed in and allow Squid able, I mean, able to do what Squid really wants to do on that end. In fact, Squid is going to use Pulse Bomb, unable to get anyone uh, with the Pulse Bomb. And window is going to be coming out. Huge damage onto Photon Dragon, shutting down that ult. Uh, Dom getting two there, one still getting another. Getting a lot of pressure from Arrow and Squid now pushing. I like the swap Photon Dragon's making onto Sig. We've got a lot of trigger happy characters on the opposing team, so just a nice shutout character is going to go very well in their favor. Not quite fast. <laughs> and that, yeah, is going to be the first round in this map at uh, Samoa. Definitely you know, loot boxers seem to be able to keep them back almost toward their spawn. But what were you saying, Yvonne? Well, I was going to say, you know, I don't actually necessarily think that in this particular situation it's a bad thing that we set up, you know, a new tank. We do some some character swaps in the round ends. Now, now the um, loot boxers don't have. I mean, obviously, you know the character, you know, like, the strategy of the character, but... The boxers running the same, ma uh, match uh, same team comp as last round, so... You know, I, I think, I think that this is still a good play that, alright, reset the map. Zero, zero out the percentages. Different team matchup. This is probably a much better situation overall. Like, yes, they have to. That means they have to win one more map. But if they can get a much stronger hold on to this point, then that that might actually work out in their favor. Certainly. Looks like Squid's gonna be playing Torp here. Turret does go down. One still able to get two picks there. And it looks like loot boxers are gonna be able to clean house, getting that team kill, and they are going to be able to capture the objective.
And Osul able to get three there. Osul able to get four. And Dom able to get the fifth for another team kill on loot boxer side. You know, who scares me as a tank because I'm, I'm personally I'm not a very big like Mago player, but I just love I just love watching people. I say this every time, where I just love watching people who just use the full extent of any given character, and also Arrow, um, Squid always proving that they know exactly what they're doing with any given character. And also really jumping in there, really punishing Manbo when out of. Uh, assault mode. And Zeus is going to try and get some objective time, try and get that cap, but unable to do so. And with that being the second map, we are going to look to see about getting an interview with one of the players here tonight. In the meantime, uh, I think we were talking about kind of the pace setting of loot boxers there, uh, being able to really kind of set the pace and do what they want to. Uh, what are some things, I guess, that you think of in terms of playing playing the pace, playing the game that you want to um, in there? Um, I personally, I think loot boxers would uh, have mastered the art of executing of the way just play the pace they want to. The amount of communication that must be going on between them right now must be, like, excessive. They're, everybody must, like, because you have to, y'all have to be tight as thieves just to get that level of communication, first off. But, yeah, I, you know, it's really hard for me to answer that question, Zorn, because I, I mean, I've been on those kind of teams every once in a while, but to get, to get it so consistent as the way that the loot boxers have it, I, I personally, I can't do that. <laughs> Sure. I don't. I don't. I mean, I, don't, I haven't played in a little while. I don't have that consistency. But I just that. But it's it's almost breathtaking to see that the loot boxers just have it so consistent. Every time they step on that field, they're doing it as a unit. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, they definitely have a very strong synergy to them, uh, and I think that's what makes them so dominant uh, is their cohesion. And specifically, I'd like to reference. I mean, Squid and Arrow seem to play very well together. Um, and I don't think necessarily it has anything to do. Um, I, I can't take away from their individual play. Uh, I believe they're both very, very good players in their own uh, respect. But in the same sense, I do believe that playing uh, together and playing with their team really amplifies that skill set that they've got. Um, but we are going to be pulling Zeus here for a quick interview. Uh, and we'll be pulling him in three, two, one. Yo, Zeus, what's happening? How's it going? Oh, it's going. How are you doing? Pretty good, considering that I've been up since 4.30 in the morning. Holy cow, that is a lot of time that you've been awake. Uh, I would oh, yeah. not be able to do that, so kudos to you on being able to stay awake through uh, through this here. Um, I, I gotta say, um, definitely, 
Um, I, I know that you all have been putting in some good practice and getting things ready uh, for your upcoming matches as we're getting ready to finish out the regular season here in a couple of weeks. Um, playing here against the loot boxers and knowing several of the players and their play styles uh, when they were formerly Jade Dynasty, what were some things coming into this matchup that you were expecting or looking maybe to counter pretty uh, heavily uh, going into things here? So we did expect Mauga, most definitely. We knew that they would run Mauga. We watched some VODs that they were Mauga and forced to Rhino push. So we figured that they would be super brawl heavy. Um, as you can see, we have a few new players on our roster, as always. Um, but uh, we are very eager. I feel like every fight has been somewhat close, except for last match. But hopefully we can bring it together. Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely I can see... Uh, some of the um, adjustments that you all are making. Uh, and I think in terms of playing loot boxers, they've got a very fast pace that they like to play. Uh, and with Arrow playing a very strong Lucio, um, I know that pace can de definitely be set uh, pretty heavy. And I saw there in chat, Arrow had pointed out that Oso had more healing than him on Malga when he was playing Lucio. Um, are there any things that you take into consideration knowing that Arrow is going to be pestering the backline quite a bit? Um, we kind of tried figuring it out, like, near the end, that he's going to probably go in with the Mauga, and you can't really 2v5 unless we are just looking at the Mauga like we were doing for most of the time. So that's when we decided, hey, we should probably try going on their backline when the Mauga charges in, because their backline is then exposed. Sure. But that didn't go to plan. But we are cooking up some crazy strats here. Hopefully they work. Yeah, I'm excited to see it. Uh, we've got Junkertown and Escort. Uh, don't want you to reveal any of your strats right, right away um, as um, we don't want to give away any uh, classified information. Uh, but have in terms of looking at the map pool, uh, was Junkertown one of those maps that you were able to practice with and uh, work on uh, as a team? Junkertown has probably been like one of our, not our best, but definitely not our worst. It's been one of our middle maps, so we are slightly comfortable on it, but it's not our comfort pick. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I believe that is all I have for you to now, or wow, holy cow, I can't speak. That is all I have for you for now. Um, but definitely good luck. I'm seeing some really good things coming from you. I think it's just being able to capitalize on some of those opportunities for you all. And I'm excited to see what you guys can do in these upcoming maps. Absolutely. Thank you for interviewing. Yep. Well, uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. All right, that was Zeus, uh, the support player and captain for VTG Orion. Uh, glad to have him here for the interview today, or I should say tonight. You, you would say tonight, right, Yvonne? I mean, I, I, <laughs> I suppose so. I'd say whatever at this point. He's been up since 4.30 in the morning. I'm on <laughs> on one hour of sleep, like, at this point. I need a freaking Dr. Pepper or something. Hey, that's that's not a bad beverage to choose. Uh, in terms no, of I'm, what you got available. I'm I'm that one person who, like, you know the meme where it's like everyone has that one friend that's obsessed with Dr. Pepper? Yeah, it's me. It's me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, Dr. Pepper and Mountain Dew are, like, top tier for me. Um, but those are those are typically my go-to drinks when I play some Overwatch. Um, and then, of course, got to have some water ready. All right, uh, looks like uh, loot boxes are making that uh, swap for Oso. Uh, we're just getting some things cleaned up on the lineup side of things. Uh, Bubbles is going to be substituting Oso out, and I believe this will be the debut for Bubbles uh, in the Overwatch Odyssey League and for loot boxers. So uh, as we get things taken care of there, uh, we will get things kicked off, like I said earlier, uh, for an escort game mode at Junkertown. You know, th this is actually one of my favorite escort maps, oddly enough. Well, okay, I think I'm judging back, but I, I started enjoying this map more when I started watching and when I started spectating with you. I really started enjoying this map more, because personally, I didn't like it at first, and then it started growing on me, and now I'm like, no, nah, no, nah, I really see the appeal of this one. Because, cause again, I love watching these players use maps and certain things in ways that I myself wouldn't and 
Sometimes that's the best. Everyone says experience is the best teacher, but sometimes it is really nice when you have someone else or a group of other people also showing you how to utilize a certain situation in the best possible way. So I feel like I mean, like not I'm not I'm not leaving the spectator about to go pop on a match of Jumper Town right now, but I feel I feel like I could probably play this map a good deal better these days just because I have I have some strategies cooked up from watching these uh these matches I should say. I almost said playthrough and I'm like that doesn't work. Sure. Uh and it looks like we're gonna see some changes. We have got a double sniper on VTG Orion side. Uh on the meantime, Dom of Ender on Sombra uh could maybe hinder VTG's uh attack or I should say defense here um as they're going into things. Uh, both teams look like they're playing a Sig, both teams on Ana, and then we've got Lifeweaver and Bap uh, going into this, so it'll definitely be interesting to see uh, both these teams compete. You see Miles May taking the high ground there. Definitely excited to see that, see if there are any uh, easy, or I shouldn't say easy, but some uh, early picks uh, coming up in this first team fight. Five, four, three, two, uh, Actually, I think on loot boxers, bubble swap to Winston, which Winston, Winston actually has a great time on this map, because he's just a lot of good space to uh, run around and be a general, very tanky, very beefy nuisance. But the thing that I'm looking forward to is we got a bit of far mercy going on right now on uh, Squid Storm and Arrow, who have already proven to be just like double trouble already, and now we got we got caught them as a far mercy so this is gonna be still even a little bit more scary looks like photon dragon is gonna be caught here in the uh, underbelly there uh, of the gates and Mando swapping off Panza going to soldier Hoping to get some picks there on Squid. And Arrow does go down. Squid looking low as well. Squid does go down. Mambo getting two picks. And Squid able, or sorry, Mambo able to get three picks here. Photon pushing in. Really hoping to get oh, uh, bubbles here. I said Oso. Uh, expecting that. And a great hold there coming from BTG Orion. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really enjoying these these swaps that uh, that we're seeing. So I, I, I'm, must say I can't wait to see what the boxers are gonna try to do to try to adjust and keep their payload going. Because once once they get that ball rolling, it's really difficult to stop them. So Orion had to had to pull out a lot of stops to to hold all momentum. Some good pressure there coming from Dom. It miles beyond a squid storm during that old. I mean, it, it is not the worst shot. I mean, it, it far as old is very diff difficult to work with sometimes because you are stuck in place. But, you know, if you have the shot, take it, I guess. It worked out there. Definitely. And BTG Orion making a really good hold so far. Looks like Squid is going to be switching off of Fara. Arrow coming off of Mercy into the very familiar Lucio that we've seen a lot of so far throughout the season in this match. Looks like Arrow really working to get BTG Orion off of the high ground here. All already used, but Monkey still nanoed here. Able to get the pick there on Zeus. And Mambo is going to go down as well. There's just Photon Dragon there using all great bubble from Bubbles. Uh, no pun intended. Fitting. Fitting. I think. <laughs> and VTG right, Orion, got... yeah, giving up this first, first point. Checkpoint. Now, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of potential for a great hold still. And now we're in a much more consolidated area. But honestly, if you if, keep it on D.Va, I, this is a good area for her because we have good places to perch to get in and out of certain situations. I mean, Winston also can utilize his high ground, low ground, jumping all over the place. 
And I can't wait. I honestly, I want to see Bubbles use uh, the shield in very creative ways, like so. And Bubbles looking very low. Bubbles does go down. Burn damage. Squid Storm also going down here. Able to get a pick. And once all it does go down, it is Dom here. Bubbles is coming back. Good sleep coming from Miles Me. Or sorry, reverse sync. You know, I, I like seeing that VTG Ryan really is trying to do their best to kick it into high gear and, and really plant their feet and just say no. Like, you, you shall not pass. You are not... And Reverse Inc. does go down. Arrow going down as well. And Miles Me, with the help of Bob, does end up trading with Dom Avender there. Now, I have to admit, every once in a while, I kind of forget that Bob is such a useful tool um being able to halt payloads um he also counts for control maps i believe that you can use him to, yep. to prevent the point from turning and it looks like they are going to be able to get there big emp a lot of things happening here you know that was a i don't no i believe uh, um the man bow either got stunned or he got slapped at that moment of his ult. I canceled it out. That was a really precise pick there. And almost able to get a pick there on Squid, but with the assistance of Dom there, able to get that pick before squid going down here and I believe we have got another pause request here not sure what's going on All right, looks like uh, now it is VTG Orion's turn to have some internet issues. Uh, here the uh, storms are getting pretty bad. Hopefully everyone's staying safe as all that's going on. Uh, I know up where I live, uh, no storms as far as I know, uh, but definitely some pretty heavy rain uh, and definitely some worry of possibly uh, flash flooding, although it wouldn't hardly be flash uh, as it's all been, all been running. Or sorry, it's been raining all day. I've been uh, reading chat here to make sure everyone's ready as we're getting ready to start the match. And uh, multitasking is pretty hard, Yvonne. <laughs> I'm sorry. I wish I could help, but I don't know how much. <laughs> I'm not very good at this game. I'm learning more and more every time I help yeah. you with the spectating stuff. <laughs> but, yeah, hurricane season is the best thing ever, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. Uh, I gotta say, so Badger, who I assume is also Arrow, um, I don't know if you're saying that I was grumbling about Mercy. Um, more so, I should say I'm grumbling about Far Mercy. Uh, <laughs> not, not, not my most favorite thing in the world, so. Oh, it looks like Badger is not Arrow. I guess dialing Arrow is Arrow, and that makes more sense to me. I apologize for the confusion, chat. You said Badger... And at first, I literally thought you meant the Russian Badger joined this, and I was like, that must be the most major street cred thing I think I ever heard, but... <laughs> <laughs> and a good pick there coming from Squid. Rally coming out, does get hacked.
Oh, oh wait, and wait, I wait. believe, oh, oh, yep, another DC here. I, we're, we're just having a, this is the week of bad internet luck, okay? We had, we had the solar eclipse, which took down internet and power and all of that kind of stuff. And now it's also hurricane season. It's just, it's just not the good week for internet stuff. So, um, speaking of, or speaking for the match so far, I have to give it props to Orion that they are. I mean, we can't deny that loot boxers just have incredible momentum and they push this payload. They're three fourths of the way on the last checkpoint. I'm. I wouldn't be surprised. They still have a minute four left when Photon Dragon comes back. They still have a minute four. I wouldn't be surprised if they take last checkpoint. But Orion's defense so far has been immaculate going from what we saw with the push map, what we saw with the control map. And just such a high, just such a change of pace has been incredible where, again, they got down to a minute and four in the last checkpoint, three quarters of the way there, and they're still holding strong. I mean, like, internet issues, like, aside... Orion, Orion really is kicking it into high gear. They really did uh, whatever Zeus was saying with the crazy strategies that they were coming up in between last map and this map. I agree. I think I think whatever they did, they were doing it wonderfully. Again, I can't take away from loot boxers. Loot boxers at at every twist and turn that Orion's been giving them, they've just been hammering as hard as they can, and they are going as far as they can with this payload and. It's working for both teams. I'm not I'm not seeing many faults on either side. I just it's just this raw momentum that you get with loot boxers, just the sheer arrow's ability to just get into the back lines and cause absolute mayhem. Damo is helping so much on Sandra. Bubbles this whole time on Winston's been just doing immaculately. Keeping everybody and every challenge Orion and loot boxers have just been rising up to each other's challenges. I honestly I can't wait to see next round when rolls reverse and we see uh orion on attack i can't wait to see what they're gonna do with this i'm loving seeing zeus on brigida i love seeing brigida just because she's so up in your face as a support because she is she is the pinnacle in my opinion of a support character not necessarily a healing character because she is always right up there with the tank sure. right up there with the most aggressive dps and i think she does her job absolutely beautifully i love seeing that i love seeing whenever we see brigida because it's just i think Brigida, in like t in the way of a title of a support player, is the like the most pinnacle version of a supportive player because you are right there. Sure. Yeah, and the other thing too that I find interesting, um, not that I disagree with uh, what you're saying about playing that brig here. Uh, definitely love some good brig play, but I think the uh, catch twenty two, the double edged sword here for playing a brig is brig gets countered pretty hard by monkey, uh, but brig going into a sombra can proved to be pretty beneficial you know just swinging your mace happening to catch a sombra get them out of invis there uh can prove to be beneficial so i think that's again that double-edged sword there do you take the l against that matchup against monkey and hope you can get out because that i mean that shield does nothing when you're facing off against a winston but then also taking the off chance that you can get a sombra out of invis you know that's that that's the uh win loss there and choosing that I think. You know, I think I think the rest of Orion has covered that base wonderfully. I mean, Photon Dragon was uh, diva, uh, the entire almost almost the entire map so far. So diva pretty countered by Winston because that defense matrix doesn't really do much. Zeus countered by Winston, but I love the fact that the Manbo and Miles me and um, I don't know how to pronounce that Anna's name. I feel very bad. I would say reverse ink. Reverse ink? Okay, my, my apologies. I'm like, that. that is three words in one word at the same time. I didn't know how to pronounce it, so reverse ink. Um, are doing everything in their power to cover the basis of having the weakness against Winston. And again, I think that every time they did everything they could, as I said, I was not going to be surprised that Jade, uh, I did it again, Jade, loot boxers, took this map, but I cannot wait to see what Orion is going to do now that they're 
there on offense. And and I think again, I I think that 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 I don't think much could be improved for either team because Orion did so much went went through so much to kick it into high gear and every team fight was very even. And I I can't again I just can't wait to see what they do when now that they're on attack. Is there any characters or any uh, strategies, any team swaps that you would want to see that Orion has to to push the payload that much faster, that much? You know, I gotta admit, I really liked the Reaper pick going into Winston there. That was a okay. very good decision, uh, I think, in terms of that dive. However, uh, with that being said, um, there is a trade-off. I mean, Reaper is definitely, I think, a very strong character, and in Season 9, they gave him that health boost, uh, which increases his survivability substantially. Uh, I think that proves to be huge. Um, I don't know. You see Miles Me on Widow. Um, Maybe hoping to get an early pick, but I gotta be honest, I don't know if that, just taking into consideration what loot boxers played in that last uh, round, I don't know that that is necessarily the move to make, but any, anyway, uh, I'm excited to see if there's some picks that are made. I feel like in this opening area, it's kind of like Symmetra Syndrome, where like you're only using this one character for just a little bit, just to get that opening push to work and it's absolute. Um, potential, but after a little while, we're probably gonna switch from the widow. I wouldn't be surprised if that's what happens. Now, I like seeing what loot boxers are doing uh, to counter. I like seeing Echo here. I just Echo is such a good idea here. We got the copy ability. We got just master of like your surroundings. You can fly. You can glide. You can do all sorts of stuff. One of Echo's one of Echo's like best like my favorite ability that she has has got to be that sticky bomb. Because that, that can be really lethal, really, really fast. Because it, it can be on a, a person, it can be on a specific area. So you can actually use it almost to plant traps at some point, because there's a little bit of a delay. Looks like Bubbles is going to go in. Does get picked. Both teams momentarily without their tank. The Photon Dragon coming back from spawn. Looks like Arrow is going to get that boop there on Reverse Sync, who they were both doing a wall ride, and that was a uh, wall ride battle there. You know, I right, just me because I didn't even know you could bring Lucio over this head, this cliff over here, and she says, like, safely get him from one jump to the next. I'm telling you, I always learn something new every time I, <laughs> I watch these videos with these on. <laughs> Good freeze coming from Manbo, able to get Bubbles really low, essentially taking away both the power of Primal Rage and Nano. Huge Blizzard coming from Manbo there. You know, strong character right here. I just saw Manbo use Cryo Freeze to just completely negate that Echo Sticky Bomb. I don't remember what it's called right now. Uh, right there. I just, I just love use, utilizing. May here, she's got like walls can completely block off certain areas, becoming not intangible and vulnerable. We have 49 seconds. We're almost at the first checkpoint. I, Orion, again, is showing that they are more than, than capable here. They're staying as a group. Now, Bubbles has swapped to Doomfist, which is probably going to be terrifying. <laughs> as is always, I'm scared of Doomfists. I am. They, they terrify me. Bubbles is able to get the early pick there on Miles, me. 
looking at build up a second ult. That is so fast. I really, I really enjoyed this. This blizzard was more for the con idea of control and just getting every get off my payload. I have to take this point real quick. <laughs> That will be it for map. I never saw reverse go down. Okay. Quick side note, then we'll go back to the play of the game. Why does that skin of Soldier look like Venom Snake from Metal Gear Solid 5? Anyway, not the point. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't help, I just saw it, I'm like, I don't think I've ever paid attention to the skin. I'm like, wait a minute, why does that look like Venom Snake? You know, I, I think <laughs> I would uh, make that comparison a lot easier if I knew, uh, I mean, I know who Snake is, but I don't know Venom Snake. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. Sorry, kill me here sometimes. <laughs> I, I apologize. I uh, am not well versed in what some would refer to as pop culture. Uh, I struggle a little bit there, so I appreciate the uh, grace that you've given me so far. Alright, All right, going back. Okay, going back to the match. <laughs> going back to the match. Going back to the match. I'm sorry. I just I just spun us completely out, of course, but I couldn't help but notice it in that very, that very instance. Loot boxers, as I said, Ryan. Loot boxers take take victory because that we're three zero right now. I'm not I'm not gonna say that complete shot because again on paper it's one thing, but when you like view the match, it's another. Loot box uh, loot boxers put up so many challenges that I think Orion personally, I, I think they overcame so many of them, like. You know, the, the number doesn't really show it, but, like, again, if you watch the video and you're, like, you're actively seeing what's happening, I think Orion really does. I mean, we're not done yet. We still have to, we're still going to do the other two maps, obviously, but Orion just, like, steps up to the plate every single time. Like, I'm, I'm really happy whenever I see this with Orion that they're just, they're, they're switching up and they're making these plays and they're doing this and that and the other. And they're always stepping up to the plate and they're never shying away from an opportunity. Like, even if they like they think they have a chance, they're going to take it. And, and they're doing an, a, an immaculate job so far. Loot boxers, going on the other side, have been immaculate. They're, you know, they're giving Orion these challenges and they're just, they're just being all over the place and in your face. And you have Arrow jumping around as Lucio and he's just doing all this kind of stuff. And you have, it, 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 just the synergy of the loot boxers is just incredible. Every time you see them, you're just like, yeah, this is why you're you were top seed for so long. It's just because you you you've got it. You've got your. I, I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. it. Like they just they they got they got the ingredients and they're just they're just running with it. Sure. Yeah. I I couldn't I couldn't agree more there. All right, uh, we are getting ready to head into Yvonne's favorite map and game mode, uh, looking at Flashpoint at New Junk City, just confirming that both teams are ready. We're here. Yay. I also, by the way, for anybody who's wondering, the map pool is random. It's just I'm here often when it is New Junk City. Zorn does not go out of his way to pull up New Junk City whenever I'm here. The map pool is random. I, I don't know how you randomize it, but there's some way you're doing it. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. There are only two Flashpoint maps, so... So it's 50-50 uh, yeah, for yeah, me. It's 50-50, but, yeah. But it's not like every time I'm here, you're specifically picking New correct, Junk City for correct. me. Correct, correct. I have to say, hold on, I'm going to take a peek at the map pools here as we're waiting for teams to... Uh, or as we're waiting for the map to start, we've got New Junk City, New Junk City, Servasa, New Junk City, and New Junk City. So you know, four so this round is, this six. Is just yeah. This is just the replay of the King's Row curse. Do you remember that that running joke we had for a while, where like every time it was King's Row, whenever we had to do hybrid. 
This is like the new version of that, but now I'm here, so it has to be New Junk City. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I could, you know, that, that could be it, could be it. But, uh, I gotta say, so, uh, Loot Boxers have secured the dub against VTG Orion officially. Uh, these last two maps are going to be for point accumulation. Yeah, I am noticing that in chat. Yes, we, we do all five, even if the, the teams have already won. Which again, I, I, I also think, I've said this before, I'll, I will say it again. This is always a good way to put this. This this is a good way to let like certain players relax a little bit more because this is just point accumulation at this point. They're not have to worry. I've, I've often noticed that some sometimes when this happens and it's like alright we already lost that a characters and players feel a lot more free because there's not as much anxiety there. So they, sometimes I do see them play better because it, again it's not as much at stake. Obviously you want to get the best point accumulation you possibly can. But sometimes I've noticed that certain players play a little bit better now that they're just like, okay, we can calm down a little bit now. Though Orion looks like they're still gonna try to give it every ounce of 130% that they got. And I like seeing the Joker Queen and the Reinhardt. I love seeing I love seeing these kind of tanks. I love seeing these brawly freaking tanks. I love seeing Lamatra here. I love seeing Reinhardt here. Especially this first point. This first point can be absolute mayhem. Yeah, this first point is very, uh grindy there are definitely some very good entry points on this map to kind of even things out or split things up a little bit um, but this I'll say this first one is the most common here looks like we're gonna have another Lucia 1v1 here poison oh, forever now flashpoint we're probably gonna see uh, loot boxers take this first point just because you build point percentage accumulation so quickly. Oh, I like I like this last stand moment. bit unlucky good pin there from Oso able to get howdy on max down here so I just realized I kind of spaced out during some of these team fights just a lot was happening uh, going on in those team fights just trying to find out what next flash point is I don't you don't get pinged if you're spectating so all right I found it The old economy right now is pretty even. We got four and four. I have to admit, I, flashpoint matches are always a little bit difficult because you're always, um, you're always in such mayhem, which is why I like it so much. It's, it's just such mayhem that always happens that I love listening. All right, one old becomes three old suddenly because we're just trying to to even out the playing field as much as humanly possible. Though, I'm seeing the thought from ECG Ryan. I want to see a nice good push in here. Ooh, Squid Storm with the... That was an incredible Blizzard combo with the artillery. Um, looks like we have another DC, so we're going to pause again for just a second here. Just looking at chat here, uh, we see uh, someone saying, I'd run from Arrows Lucio 2. Uh, I got to say, I'm, I'm right there with you. I think I'd, I'd run from that. Uh, definitely would be be a tough matchup. I, I don't have the option of running. I'm a, I, if you ever look at my career profile, Zord, you'll see I'm a Life Weaver. It says Life Weaver main. I'm playing Ramatra at heart all the time, so... 
that's gonna be the most difficult part. I was like, I don't have the option. I'd be the tank in this situation. I don't have the option of running away. <laughs> it does suck, unfortunately, that due to disconnect, we do not have full ult economy on BTG Orion anymore. But... I think I think the four other ults might just be able to to make up for it in the time it takes to build the next one as I'm trying to figure out where they're going next. Okay, I'm gonna just follow you loot boxers. I don't know where, where the next checkpoint is. And it looks like VTG Orion is divided a little bit here. Uh, that may hinder this next team fight. On the flip of that. Loot boxers just through and through have been together as one, moving to the next payload. When they're pushing, they're pushing as one. And a lot of alts coming out. Also able to take down two here. I gotta say earlier we uh, saw a squid trapping Manbo there in the room uh, with that May against Genji. It proves to be very lethal and then also having arrow come in for support um, definitely not a great situation but everything that could possibly done be done to survive that situation I think was done Manbo able to get one taking out M but getting one solo down Manbo going down afterward how do you max able to get uh, it looks like we have another DC Misery made manifest. and we will I'll be back in just a second here. Apologize about this. All right. We will be back in just a second here.
Alrighty, thank you everyone for holding on so patiently here uh, with the unfortunate event that Photon Dragon, the tank player for VTU Geo Ryan, kept DCing. Uh, loot boxers have so kindly agreed to replay the map. Uh, VTG Orion is going to be bringing one of their DPS players um, from a previous map. So uh, roster DPS player for VTG Orion is going to be filling in. Uh, and one of their other players are going to be swapping the tank, I believe. So with that being said, uh, we are going to get to re-witness Yvonne's <laughs> favorite map uh, and game mode. So uh, we're going to be hopping this into that. This evening could not get any better for me. <laughs> Y'all, everyone in, in chat and whoever watches this later, when I watch the replay when it goes up on YouTube normally, can say whatever they want. I don't care. I don't have to be your friend, but I am absolutely allowed to love Flashpoint. And I just get a double dose of Flashpoint New Junk City tonight. Could not be a better opportunity for me. <laughs> you know, I think if we played a uh, match that was just all uh, Flashpoint in New Junk City, I think you'd be very content. Completely okay with that, to be honest. <laughs> it looks like VTG Orion is rearing to go. <laughs> it looks like loot boxers are going to match that energy as the teams verify their readiness. So, so get a little bit of restart here. Yep, resuming where we were at uh, before here. So we are restarting again. We are restarting the Flashpoint map uh, here at New Junk City. VTG Orion bringing in uh, one of their uh, other players here who could not make it to the earlier maps. Uh, so Iris is going to be filling in uh, for VTG Orion. Now, if you remember uh, from a couple weeks ago, Iris did win, I believe it was the week four, I believe, week four MVP. Uh, so definitely a pretty good player to be bringing on here as a sub for VTG Orion. So excited to see Iris join us here tonight. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Jay, sorry, I did it, and I promised myself I wasn't going to do it. Uh, loot boxers definitely been playing very strong so far. I'm excited to see more of that coming from them, uh, and having to do that repeat here of this map. Excited to see that. So we saw loot boxers be dominant. BTJ Ryan's got a little bit of a substitute going on. What'd you see? Cause we're doing this again. What'd you see that you liked from the last version of this map before the before the redo? Well, Before we had a tactical restart. I would say that the one advantage that VTG Orion is going to have is knowing a, I'll say, similar comp that they're going to be running. So far, it does not appear to be super beneficial. Uh, two picks going down for VTG Orion already. And loot boxers are going to be able to take the point again here. They did take a different route this time uh, from the start of last, but uh, you know they say that the definition of insanity is trying the exact same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So I, I think they decided to uh, choose a different strat here. Yeah, I'm seeing I'm seeing so so different strategies from both teams right now. I'm I'm gonna ask you, so what do you think the, the opportunities of a pure Ryan one v one is gonna be? What, what, what do you think the huge earth the shatter gonna... coming from Oso, a true one v one? I mean, it'd be kind of cool though. I uh, don't think it would be uh, feasible here, especially in this setting. But it'd be kind of cool if the uh, players decided, you know, let's just let a Ryan, true Ryan one v one, decide the uh, outcome of this next uh, objective here. Not saying they should do that. I'm just saying it would be kind of cool to see. It'd be kind of entertaining to see, honestly. I mean, we're here for point accumulation, so it's not it's not the map's not gonna go. I'm not saying anybody should be doing it. I'm just saying it would be a little fun. All right, so we yeah, got next flash point. I think the next flash point, Orion's going to have a little bit of an advantage to get there first, but it looks like loot boxers are not are not gonna let them get away. Too, too quickly or easily. Actually, we're seeing a lot of... We have, we have two Rhymes, we have two Mays, we have two Lucios, we have two... Oh, we have two Baps as well. So the only difference right now is going to be a Bastion and a Junkrat. So we're, we're almost a perfect mirror. 
which is exciting to see. I think uh, seeing that mirror matchup is just really a true uh, bout of strength between the uh, individual and team compositions. Uh, I like, I really like seeing that mirror between the teams here. And all being used by Squidstorm here. Able to get Mambo frozen here. Again, they are going to combo with the artillery. Arrow is going to be using Beat here to keep the team alive as they win this team fight. BTTO Ryan does have the point, getting some very good pro progress. Arrow is able to get Miles Me off the map here. And a good wall that, coming from Iris preventing any further progress from loot boxers. You know that that was a great take, but you have to under uh, uh, you, have, you have to remember the um Delta economy is a little bit um it's a pretty big difference now because now we have we have Iris on May with a all ready, we got tire ready, we got window ready, and oh we already have the Reinhardt Reinhardt ult. Oh, and the ult is shut down by Dom before it goes off. No Earth Shatter from Manbo. Zeus going down. Max going down. Miles Me going down as well. Very close to a team kill. Iris did die pretty early uh, in that fight, getting uh, hit a couple times by Squid and then finished off by Arrow. And it looks like loot boxers are going to be holding very aggressively. Able to get that early pick on Manbo. Max going down as well. And able to get Arrow again. This time, uh, we're seeing that uh, Ryan's trying to make their way to the points to get there a whole lot quicker. Because loot boxers, the second that they got the point, I mean, they did stay around for their to to clear clear house, I should say, against their opponents. But the counter all coming here, and we get the Ryan one v one to an extent here. Manbo able to get Oso down. ATG Orion is going to be making some pretty good progress. Manbo is going to be looking at Earth Shatter here. Oso sitting on Earth Shatter. Also window for loot boxers here and VTG Orion. Uh, so definitely both uh, alts uh, from both teams. Dom Vendor looking very close to alt as well. Immort being dropped very early here. And window being used as well. Earth Shatter from Oso. And Dom able to get several picks. Oso able to get some. You know, you were seeing in that last team fight, we had we had two different May walls, and, and this is another reason why I think May is a little bit scary. And some people argue that she should be a tank player because she could just the wall can be used so offensively and defensively, and it's just it's such a difficult obstacle to to get a, like get around in certain moments. Like you can just totally block off certain areas with that May wall. I definitely saw Squidstorm using it at an incredible advantage point. to get that late bomb. Squid does go down, but with that bomb, uh, Domavender able to get Zeus, and that looks like it could very well be the map. And that is going to be it for this fourth map.
so we're we're seeing that familiar dominance that we've seen uh, from these players. Uh, I'll say in a past life. Um, definitely, again, I go back to that synergy and being able to play well, well together. Um, definitely playing some different heroes than we've seen uh, from Squid, and I know Dom likes to play a lot of Junkrat, and I don't know that we've seen a ton of that tonight. So really seeing the adaptability and the flexibility of the players and their hero pool, I think really proves uh, and sets them apart from maybe uh, some others. However, you, you can't take anything away from VTG Orion. I mean, able to push as best they can, um, definitely need, making those improvements, trying to make their adjustments as best they can, but loot boxes just being overwhelming uh, in their pace setting uh, and their ability to really cause trouble in the back line. A lot of really good things coming from loot boxers here. You know, as, as, as we're sa saying about just pace setting and that, Orion, so far tonight now, the, uh, getting your tank removed, unfortunately, due to internet problems. So no fault of any player. It's just sometimes, sometimes internet sucks. It's no one's fault. Yeah. I think that Orion did an incredible job. How many bugs are going to be in this Sorry, there's another bug in my room. No, um, you're good. <laughs> so, going back to what I was saying, I still think Orion, to the best of their abilities, did rise up to the challenge that loot boxers gave them. Now, it, was, it wasn't as, as perfectly synergetic that it was before the disconnect, but I'm not going to take anything away from them, because, as you said, it was to the best of their ability. And I... And... I, I think overall tonight, Orion has still done a wonderful job of, you know, keeping loot boxers. It's it's very difficult to, to keep the loot boxers at bay. Once that they're on, like, the, the, the flashpoint or the payload or the pushbot, whatever it is, I love that by loot boxers every time is, like, they never overextend to where they are uncomfortable like they know exactly where they need to be at any specific or given moment and they don't overextend and you think for for such a dominant team i always enjoy that they never kind of let it go to their heads almost where they start overextending they start making a running reckless plays like it's still tactical down to the very last moment of the fight sure i sure. really enjoy that from the loot boxers and nothing against Orion, I'm not going to say anything against because uh, every single time, especially in the first three matches, did we see every time that that challenge was presented, Orion every time stepped up and at, and in some moments just surpassed because we did see some wonderful takes. We saw some wonderful team, uh, some team wipes and stuff like that. It's going to be a little bit more difficult now that we have... Um, I think you said a DPS player is not playing tank. Obviously not playing your specific role is a little bit funky at times. Sure. But for what it is, I still think they're doing an excellent job. Sure, sure. Uh, looks like we are going to be pulling Wurzel uh, or Oncilla or Oncilla, uh, from the loot boxes here for a quick interview. Uh, so we're pulling them uh, here. Yo, how you doing? Oh, what's good, Mio Miko? <laughs> I'm uh, doing well. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, I gotta say, I, I need some help. Are you, on your account here? Uh, is it uh, Ancilla? How how would you pronounce uh, yeah. your account it's, name? It's Ancilla. It's Ancilla, like the animal. If you Google it, my main account is Ocelot. It kind of looks like an Ocelot. <laughs> so it's Ancilla. Let's say you pronounce it. Okay. Okay. Cool. 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 Gotcha. Um, so I gotta say, um, definitely seeing some pretty good synergy. Uh, from the team, is there anything in specific as far as communication or playtime together? Is there anything that you think you could credit a lot of uh, the success that you've had so far tonight? Uh, is there anything specific that you would accredit that to? Well, I think uh, during our times practicing in comp or scrims or whatever, we really make an effort to, to make calls. We try to keep the comms, you know, full. And uh, mainly it's Oso, Arrow, and Squid that are yelling out the stuff. <laughs> I think very good shot callers no disrespect to dom or anything but i think those are very good shot callers we try we really try to make an effort to uh, uh strategize and you know synergize ourselves uh i've been playing this game for about seven years i've been in this team for about a month this is the best comms i've ever heard of in my life 
you know, um, uh, being on a team is, you know, when we're able to talk to each other and have as good a synergy as this, I think we really uh, do well in any kind of scenario. Sure. Yeah. I, th I think a lot of credit definitely can be uh, given to comms and having those shot callers can uh, prove to uh, be beneficial there. Now, I got to say, so since you're fairly new to the uh, loot boxers lineup here, uh, in terms of seeing Squid and Arrow play together, um, was that something that you have to adapt to, or maybe even specifically seeing Arrow's play style kind of really sticking in the back line and applying pressure there? Um, was there some adaptability that you had to adjust to? Uh, I wouldn't say playing with one support, but having, I'll say, one to provide the healing right. in the back line. Well, I tell you, uh, before Overwatch 2, I was a hard Lucio main. On my main account, I have about uh, 210 hours. So I've played the way he does, and I appreciate that. I respect that. So I'm perfectly fine with playing a main support uh, going off of something like that. And I do like how skilled he is and able to go into the back line and distract them and Squid's ability to follow up on that to really secure those kills while I make sure that my tank's still alive and my other DPS is still alive. So I do like that. I joined this team as a flex support. So I uh, basically the first scrim when I saw you played, I knew exactly what it was going to be right off beat. I play Moira, Bap, Ana mainly so i i wouldn't say i had to adapt too hard but you know it's very uh it's a very fun team i will say good. to watch them do that in the back good well it's exciting definitely to see uh that you're able to fit into the scheme fit into the uh, uh synergy that loot boxers have built uh so far being able to make those uh adjustments and everything uh to how they play definitely i, I think shows uh in your play tonight so definitely exciting to uh, have you there on that lineup. Uh, but also, since you specified that your main account was Ocelot, that helps me with the stats a lot. Uh, uh, yeah. No pun intended with the rhyme there. Uh, but <laughs> just being able to uh, maybe combine those a little bit. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> able to do that. So thank you for that clarification. Uh, Yvonne, you got any questions here? No, I mean, I, I'm just going to say, um, me and Zoran have been talking, commentating about Orion is always seems to be stepping up to the plate whenever you guys present a challenge. Are you, have you guys been noticing that that they're just they're they're pretty quick on the on the draw when it comes to altering their strategy to counter yours? How do you feel? About I do that? respect that. I do respect that. Uh, in the first interview, I overheard he was saying how basically he did his homework. He knew we were gonna throw Malga on on a uh, uh, Samoa. Uh, unfortunately, we had to look a, a little trick on our up our sleeves with uh, Mr. Bubbles coming in on Winston and Pharmacy. But I do respect how they're able to adapt in those scenarios, uh, how they how it seems like they've studied us, <laughs> how it seems like they're uh, very, uh, they understand what swaps to make, when to uh, capitalize on certain scenarios. And I, I respect that very much. I think that's the, uh, that's the, that's a sign of a very good team if they're able to do those things. So I commend them for that ability. Um, and I think uh, being able to adapt on the fly is a very, very, uh, is is a highly coveted aspect of a team of a fast team game like this so i do respect them uh in that scenario yeah yeah well uh i believe if that is all uh we do appreciate you being here for the interview and uh good luck in this course, last map course. here thank you bro yeah, yeah you have a good night yeah you too Alrighty, everyone that was uh uncilla one silla uncil i can't i still can't do it man i am like a walking uh failure at pronunciations apparently and i even had uh them uh spell it out for me so apologies for that i feel like it shouldn't be as difficult as i'm making it yvonne you, but you're also doing like eight different things at the same time sorry it's okay <laughs> you, you know i i try my best and apparently when and you I... do a wonderful job <laughs> well I, that's I all that there is that. to it you do amazing uh, all righty i appreciate that uh but as we were saying here so we are going to finish off tonight uh this is going to be a hybrid game mode at blizzard world now it does look like loot boxers are going to be making a swap here looks like squid is going to be coming out and bubbles is going to be filling in uh it'll be interesting to see i wonder uh as far as their team comp goes um we know that bubbles uh as far as i know plays uh a dive tank so it'll be interesting to see uh if oso is going to be the one swapping the dps or if bubble is going to be but of course we won't know that till we hop into things uh it looks like the teams are ready. We're just going to wait for the loot boxers to confirm here. Right, 
I feel like I asked this sometime when I was on, on chat with you, Zorn. So, let's say Blizzard opened an amusement park. Uh, would you go? <laughs> uh, you know, Based on all the video games that they made and stuff like that? I gotta say, that's an interesting question. Um, you know, I, I have, in my time of uh, Mischief and Magic play, I have looked at the map quite a bit. Uh, that's in the uh, attacker spawn. Uh, just to see what all's uh, popping here in Blizzard World. And to be honest, I'd really just have to uh, see what attractions and everything uh, that they've got. Um, yeah, I think it would depend on that, you know. Uh, I have gone to... You know, oh, there's, like those, there's like two or three roller coasters in the freaking background. So I'm just saying, I'm like, I think I think there's more than like what we see here. Oh, for sure. For sure. So I'm just saying, I'm like... I don't, I don't actually know how long this has been a map because I again I, I was not here during the days of Overwatch months. So I don't know how long Blizzard World's been a thing, but mm, I don't know. I did, I'd probably I'd probably call, come give it a shot. And be like, yeah, yeah. I I could see that. Now I gotta ask uh, chat. What are we thinking here? Yvonne posed a pretty good question. If uh, Blizzard were to open their own amusement park, uh, maybe based would off of go? Blizzard World, would you go? Would you go? Would you go and, and go see the freaking I'd be utterly terrified of what 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 ride they'd base off the Diablo games. All right. Anyway, go back to the go back <laughs> to the match. We've got we've got oh VTG Ryan has has Echo has Lucio has Zarya forgot that name Cassie and Baptiste and for loot boxers we got Junkrat and Roadhog and I really like that combination. We got Soldier. We got Kiri. We also got Arrow on Lucio. He cannot be stopped. And a very good push to counter that movement that VTG Orion was hoping to do, uh, pushing up into that high ground into that room there. Um, so definitely going to be interesting if they're going to try that strat, strat again or if they're going to try and go low. Um, Looks like both teams are kind of dancing around the outside of the point here, uh, hoping to get that first pick and then really allow him to move in. Looks like Miles Me is going to be the one to make that first pick on Dom. Uh, now is the time for VTG Orion to hop in. Bubbles also going down. Oso is fighting on point. Uh, Arrow coming in. Looks like Arrow is going to opt to get out of that fight. And VTG Orion is going to be able to get the cap here. Very solid, quick, first take, just... Really like to see they just were like, alright, we're, we're, we're done here. We're gonna push you off our point, because we know that... Again, we've seen it all night loot boxers. They just can't have the ability to just stand on that checkpoint. And I really like seeing this from Orion, where they're just like, alright, we're gonna, we're gonna implement your strategy. We're just not gonna let you near it. Yeah, and it looks like VTG Orion is going to be regrouping here. Arrow applying some pressure as they do so. And looks like Miles Me is going to go down. Also, momentarily looking pretty low, able to get back up to full health. Iris able to get a pick there. That's going to be a pretty good pick. Beat drop is used for VTG Orion. Maybe a little preemptively, but... Maybe used there to keep the team alive. Looks like Dom is going to be using... Dom gets two. And that is going to be almost a team kill. It's just Miles Me who's coming back here. But not quite able to get the team kill. Looks like both hogs are sitting on alt here. And Miles Me able to get a pick here. That's going to be big as VTG Orion are pushing the payload. Dom of Ender also going down. Zeus applying some very similar pressure that we've seen from Arrow. Able, I mean, uh, as Oncilla, Oncilla said, man, I really need to learn how to pronounce things. Uh, 
just putting that pressure there in the background. I mean, Zeus is doing a very good job getting some needed picks here. I have to agree. I Again, I really like that Orion is really, they're kicking it. I mean, it's the last game of the night. They're going to be doing everything they can. They're kicking in their highest possible gear. I'm loving seeing the... Um, I love see I love seeing all the the teamwork and I'm loving seeing almost this this back and forth where it's like not not like a push map level of it but like you know the the you gotta win two for everyone you lose like I feel like that's that's kind of happening here it's just it's a very it's a very ebb and flow map happening right now we've, sure. we've got times where we have huge pushes by VTG and then and then we have this this incredible just stopping force that the boxers have been giving all night and I, I honestly I'm really excited to see uh, how this is on play now I'm loving seeing that VTG is taking alternate pathways to try to get back to Halo to try and upset um, uh, line of sight and do everything in their power to uh, just try to get this upper hand to get back to their payload and again, I love I love seeing loot boxers. As I said all all, all night, it's been the same theme of just rising. Right. I'm not gonna make an eye of the tiger reference. No. <laughs> uh, we're just we're just coming up, stepping up to the plate. Yeah, I really like this Kitsune rush happening with loot boxers. We're just moving as quickly as we can to get back to the plate. I almost lost where the payload was. <laughs> and also able to get two here with all arrow also assisting here, applying a lot of damage. Uh, arrow able to get Zeus down, Bubbles taken down, Max. payload up up to checkpoint I'd, as I say Orion is just they're giving it everything they got for this last match or last map it's not the last match yeah I knew what you meant Yvonne we're trying so we're, we both are just it's just word salad for the both of us tonight. yes it's gotta be and arrow does go down also going down as well and Bubbles using alt here does go down. It is just Dom there to hold point. And in overtime, they are going to be able to capture the objective. VTG Orion continuing to move the payload forward. that swap to, to JQ. I feel I feel like now Roadhog versus Roadhog has its advantages and disadvantages, but I, th I feel like Junker Queen at times can be the better option just because of that bleed damage because it's a different version of the healing. So that way you never have to stop fighting to heal, I guess. I don't Certainly. know, I just kind of like the, different, the difference of the idea. I gotta say, Iris playing that Echo is absolutely lethal. Oh yes, I've been noticing that too. Good beat drop coming from loot boxers here, able to keep the team alive. They are extending as best as they can there, and they do hold VTG Orion. Not quite able to complete the map, but definitely pushing the payload just shy of the final objective. So that'll be huge, requiring loot boxers to do the same and more, uh, having to push through uh, both capturing the point and that first objective. 
Uh, it'll be good to see here. Uh, definitely not to underestimate loot boxers here as they make this push, but definitely going to be requiring that 100%, 110% uh, to make sure they do just that. You know, this this is gonna probably be one of the most difficult rounds or mat matches or whatever whatever it's called. Uh, this this is gonna be um, probably a little bit difficult for DTG. I'm, I'm not gonna lie because we've seen it all night. Loot boxer just just can be such an oppressive force when it comes to. But this like when, when once they get on offense, they're gonna be like there's just once they get that ball rolling, it's really hard to stop them. So this is yeah. kind of a a map type that they really I, I at least to what I am noticing, this is a map type that they enjoy. Sure. Looks like uh, VTG Orion is gonna have a very pokey uh, style composition on their side. Also still gonna be rocking that hog. Dom still on. Junk rat. Looks like Bubbles is now going to be playing Tracy here. Yeah, we've seen the Tracer Lucio earlier tonight, and it was very effective. And Dom is awesome. the Looks first fun. pick here. And it looks like loot boxers are going to regroup, and rather than extend the fight. Uh, they are going to, again, regroup and wait for Dom to come back. And a huge pick coming from Dom of Ender and, of course, Arrow there. Iris looking low. And it is Max going down as well. And that is going to be a huge push coming from loot boxers, able to capture the objective with two minutes, just under two minutes, 45 seconds here. opinion on Blizzard World because for like the first checkpoint or like the the capture the objective part of the checkpoint poke works really well for this area because again we have this like highs and lows area where we have a lot of high ground and a lot of maneuverability poke works good that last area in like that I'm not even quite sure what to call call the last checkpoint area because you're mostly inside poke doesn't work as well but that being said I'm loving once again, I'm loving seeing the sheer... You know, I don't, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, just it, just both teams, you can tell, are, are trying to give it their all. I don't know if... Uh, Orion has... The ba I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's, it's just... The matchup felt a little bit weird. I don't I don't blame the players. It's probably, it's probably exhausting at this point. We're... we're Five rounds in, we had to redo the junk set. Yeah, I, it, it's probably, probably everyone's probably a little tired at this point. Yeah, you know, I, I could agree with that. Definitely, definitely can be exhausting, and I think that's where a lot of that mental toughness comes in. Um, as to the team, you know, coming into after the match has been lost coming into the next maps thinking to themselves, all right, like, are we going to give this all up, our all? Are we going to really uh, try and get these points? Um, or is it match lost so uh, we have no interest in trying our best? You know, that's one thing to uh, take into consideration here.
and two picks coming from BTG's side here. Able to get Iris out of dupe. You see they are looking for arrow here. And also with the help of arrow able to get that hook off the map there. That's going to be huge. And what a hook coming from Oso there by being used. Kitsuna being used by Ancilla here. And that is going to be the map. Oh, but that last shot with the, just the pull in the- That is the most brutal one, it just one KOs. It's just, ow. I, like, I felt that. Yeah. I mean, definitely I can say I've been in that uh, situation there. Uh, getting hooked out of nowhere is definitely no fun. Uh, especially if, but you know, you're low on HP or uh, you think you're safe, then all of a sudden a hook comes out of nowhere and now you're staring Roadhog in the face. Uh, definitely not a fun spot to be in. But here nor there, uh, well-played loot boxers able to come away from this match 5-0. Uh, GG's to VTG Orion. Uh, definitely, as we had uh, talked about in the interview, uh, Zeus was saying, putting in some work, uh, really working on team synergy uh, and team, um, I guess, compositions, everything, uh, working on their next matchup. And definitely something, loot boxers are a strong team. So even going into a match, knowing what they're going to run, Yeah, it was still they still had a t a tough time through and through. But as I said, I want to say it again. I I think Orion did an incredible job all night, even with the disconnections and the we had to swap players and this and that. And again, sometimes I'm gonna say you just have to be here just to see what what truly went down. Because seeing seeing it all on paper is only gonna get you so far to see the just the, the spirit of every individual player that had joined us for tonight's events um and i think that i, I again not detracting loot boxers obviously they did uh, win but i'm just saying i just we can't we can't take the uh, opportunity away from uh vtg this, orion yeah and just i'm sorry the bug is back and he's bothering me <laughs> they'll get you uh, he's yeah. He's trying to fly on me, so I'm trying <laughs> to hold him still while he's doing... You bastard. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, as uh, Yvonne is hunting down flies, uh, we are going to go ahead and call that a night, everyone. Um, big shout-out to both teams, Loot Boxers. Thank you for adapting uh, as we have had to make some adjustments in order to accommodate... Um, and we will be uh, giving some more updates here as we're getting ready. Uh, next week, Monday, is going to kick things off for round seven. So only three more matches per team before we enter the postseason. Uh, we do also have what we call All-Star Week coming up as well. That'll be after the last round of the regular season. Uh, that'll include things. There is going to be an All-Star game. Uh, so stay tuned for that as before the All-Star game, we will be having an All-Star uh, announcement stream to uh, select all the players, so make sure to be there for that. Um, we do also have uh, things such as a Torb 1v1. We've got a, it would be now with nine teams, nine hogs, uh, one Elios Well hole uh, for them to duke it out over, trying to hook each other into that. Uh, we're going to have some pretty fun matchups. I can't matchups. wait for that. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. We've got some Widow <laughs> uh, 1v1s coming up too, so uh, stick around uh, as between uh, regular season and postseason we'll be having some fun but also some pretty competitive uh, matches and 
and such. So uh, with all that being said, again, thank you to Loot Boxers. Thank you for uh, to VTG Orion. And thank you uh, to all of you who are here to watch, uh, witness all the action. We appreciate you being here. Um, as we're growing the community, it uh, really means a lot for you to be here and spectating these matches. Um, and then, again, as always, if you would be so kind as to drop a like if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, subscribe or take a look at some of our other channels. Uh, we are building our community, and there should also be a link to our Discord server if you'd like to uh, hop in and join us, uh, get some updates as to what's going on in the league. We'd be happy to have you. Um, Yvonne, thank you for being here. It's always fun to have you uh, here on stream and casting with me. Um, always yeah. an honor. Yeah, it's good stuff happening all around and i'm excited to keep seeing more and more of that uh, as we grow uh grow together so uh with that being said uh thank you everyone and we will see you on monday for the start of round seven and that will be a matchup between the respawn rangers and the loggers definitely should be a pretty exciting matchup uh but until then have a good rest of your evening and a good weekend and we'll be back on monday thank you bye everyone